Nicely our subsequent visitor Mark Loder worked for each President Trump and Vice President Pence he says in case you need to get with inside the ring for 2024. You are going to have to knock Trump out I assume that is after announcement Mark first rate to look you what did you believe you studied of the speech EI idea it set. The desk for the U for the marketing campaign to return back uh, whether or not it's obviously Donald Trump or any candidate who goes to be a uh, taking up a uh, the incumbent. President appearance there is one big difference among 2020 and 2024. Joe Biden has a record that he previously lacked. He was a hypothetical president. Therefore you can probably estimate what inflation gas will be in 2020. The cost of education, crime your vaccination requirements I really have to give him that last night Donald Trump did and there were three things you mentioned the one thing he focusing on the failures of the Biden administration he didn't mention the border by the way. All of that is on the table you own your record and whoever picks up the amount. America first agenda whether it's Donald Trump or someone else they're going to run a policy based campaign focus on how we can get our country going back again and he stayed on point. Focus there on the failure of Biden, the successes of Trump's first term, and the future if he is elected to a second term. Given the challenges we face on nearly every front where the Biden administration has turned success into failure, the American people will want the road map out. So the challenge for any American first candidate, whether it be the president or someone else, is to do that. You saw the former president lay that out last night. I have a feeling that as more candidates enter the race, if that's what happens, they'll all focus on Trump policies. It will then be a matter of who we trust, and who American voters trust, to make the strongest case, before taking the fight to Joe Biden. Let me offer you two perspectives on this. Two Republican opinions of what Donald Trump stated, one favorable and the other unfavorable start with the criticism that was made by his former Vice President and your former employer, Vice President Pence. I genuinely think that we'll have better options. It's time but I should note that was before the speech so he didn't have a chance to really digest the speech in. I hear people saying that they would like us to move forward with leadership that will unite our country around our highest ideals and and reflect the kind of respect and civility that the American people demonstrate to each other every day. If you loved the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.